Jamie. Hi, I'm Gemma. From Play the Win Preschool, thanks for joining us. We are in the middle of a month-long thematic study of farms. We live in the suburbs, so most of our kids have been to a farm, yep. uh, but they don't live on farms. No. We don't have anybody that lives on a farm. No, we're close enough to join. Close to some really good farms. Uh, and so this week, uh, we are talking specifically about cows and what is the cow's job on the farm and what do we get from cows? And so we thought we would share four activities that we've done with our students all about cows. Right before we went live, we were trying to come up with this uh, stand-up routine with all of the cow jokes we know. But this Gemma, is as many as we know. Gemma vetoed it. She was I don't like, know any cow jokes. Move over, Jamie. We're not going to do cow jokes on Facebook Live. <laughs> oh, goodness. Anyway, um, nothing that we're going to share with you is our own invention, uh, but we just thought it was a good reminder that these are really fun and important things to do with but our I kids. do have a good story to tell you when we get to set one of our centers. In a minute. The mm -hmm. third one. Okay, so the very first day yesterday when we were talking about cows, the first thing we do with our kids was just ask them, why do, yeah. Okay, what do you know about cows? How do you know about cows? Why do farmers have cows? <laughs> of course, it's like, cows give us pepperoni. So it feels like, that's a pig. <laughs> like, all right, well, what we are gonna talk about is some of the food that comes from cows. And of course, the students. They're always fun conversations when you ask them. Like what that. comes They're from really the cow? Okay. Um, we just talk about uh, what, what what kind of dairy products you know we can make out of the milk that comes from cows? What does cow do? This is it. What does cow do on Friday night? Movie. The movie. See, keep on coming. <laughs> hi, and, hi guys. And so we talked with our kids about how cows give us milk, and that we can use milk to make lots of other dairy products like cheese, cheese, and more cheese, more cheese, and. Yogurt. Wooden yogurt. Mmm, mmm, mm, good. Yum. And butter. Butter. And butter. And, and ice, ice cream. cream. <laughs> and they were getting a bit confused because they were saying, and lolly, no, um, ice, what do you call them? Popsicles. Popsicles. We call them lollies in England. But they were saying popsicles. I'm like, no, Not popsicles. popsicles. <laughs> anyway, it was a good conversation with our students just to activate their prior knowledge about cows and dairy products. <laughs> And then we told them that we could actually make our own butter. Butter. Here at school, this for was snacks. so much fun. It was a lot of fun. If you it's haven't done now. this with the kids, it's super easy, but I'm gonna give you a couple of tips and tricks to make it even easier. So the only thing you need to make butter is some whipping cream. Is this called heavy whipping cream? Um, is there a difference between heavy whipping cream and mm -hmm. whipping cream? This is the kind I got, whipping cream. And this little container here is plenty for um, like 10 kids to have enough butter. Some. And then some. Well, we did two of these. But even so, it's a lot we of had butter. A ton. And you can do it in baby food jars, but my youngest kid is seven and Gemma's youngest kid is 12. And we don't have any baby food jars anymore. No, nope. <laughs> we're out. <laughs> and so you can also get these. Um, Just Ziploc. Ziploc. They're made by Ziploc, but you can get them. Any, any um, named um, generic ones, you can probably find them. Anywhere. Learn from us though and get the kind that screws on, on tight exactly. because the ones that just clip on are not gonna be, gonna be bad. Mm -hmm. yes. Learn from our mistakes. And all you do really is shake this up. So you put this, maybe fill it about a third or halfway into your container. And, oh, I forgot to pull them out. Here's the trick, out. the marbles. Oh. The trick to oh. make it um, turn into butter faster mm -hmm is to put some clean glass marbles in here. A handful of them. Your preschoolers are anything like Oz. They don't have the patience. To shake it for like 20 mm -hmm. minutes. We no. can only do like five minutes. So the marbles just speed up the process. Yeah, so we just wash some marbles, some of our <laughs> marbles. She said to me, she, uh, yeah, she's like, I've, I've lost, lost my marbles. Mar where, where do you I, I, I said, I, like, I, were you being serious? I said, I think no I marbles? lost the marbles. <laughs> I can't no, find I the marbles. I lost the marbles. Does she mean like it's the end of the school year. That's mean, like, how it is. Marbles. Both. It could have gone either way. And so you just add a little whipping cream and some marbles because that'll speed it up. And I use mason jars. That's that's true. That works too. <gasps> They're glass though. I don't know how if you're okay to use glass. These are plastic. So even if they drop them, 
Yeah. You and could use glass, but these yeah. are these are perfect. Okay. And then you just shake it. It will turn into whipped cream first. So if you're having pie, then you could just stop there and put a dollop of whipped cream on top. We should have. Um, but then when it starts to get really thick, you'll stop hearing the marbles move around and that's when you know you're really close. So do you want to tell them about our playlist? <laughs> so, so we started just shaking them and the kids were getting a bit bored. Yeah. So Jamie turned on a shaking playlist. I Well, I would put on my iTunes. Mm -hmm. I wanted to so find it. Some wiggles. Shake your sillies out. But shake I just like shake. Out. And they do a shaky, shaky one. We did Taylor Swift too. We did Taylor we Swift. We stopped before the middle mm -hmm. <laughs> They, they love all that. All about the Taylor Swift. That was the they one like shake that they it were off. most yeah. energetic about. So we played Just a whole. Make sure you stop it before she starts doing the a little rap part in the middle there. <laughs> so we did a whole playlist of shaking songs, and then um, what will happen is the pad of butter will start to separate from the butter milk. If you've never done this, it could be a little. Ooh, that's gonna be hard to see. Watch. Wait, hold on. Instead of me tipping the milk, how about if I tip the? So this is the butter milk. And what you're gonna do is just pour the buttermilk into a separate container. And you can use this to make banana bread mm -hmm. or pancakes. buttermilk pancakes or really good southern fried chicken, <laughs> which I should not be making. I shouldn't be making any of those things. But you will have a whole bit of buttermilk. And what's left then is butter. And it is really so delicious. delicious. Yeah, you can add a little bit of salt, a little pat of salt or a little sprinkle of salt and then shake it up some more. And the more you shake it, the more buttermilk will come off. And then you're just left with this hard bit of butter. That's we, all. We used it for um, our We had little bag. bagels for snack, those little mini bagels. And then the kids put the butter on it. Easy. It was so much fun. And they're like, we made butter. Did you know you could make butter? <laughs> I didn't know that. Did you know that? I do now. And then we had one. And she was like, I only eat the butter from the grocery store. It comes in a green jar. And I'm like, this is the same. No. And she was like, Mm -mm. Not, not gonna eat it. <laughs> so if you haven't made butter with your kids, it's cheap. This was like 99 cents. And just put it in a container and shake it up. And it's get a good playlist. And get a good playlist, including shaky shaky. Yep. What's shake your sillies out. What's the other wiggles? There's another wiggles. Shake, like, shaky shaky. Sh uh, shake your sillies out. And there's another one I can't remember. There's like another wiggling one. I don't know. And then Taylor's. A little shake it off at the end. <laughs> really, really make the pad of butter home. Why should you never ever tell a cow a secret? She can't read the comments, so I can give her the joke. I don't know. Because it will go in one ear and out the other. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks Cassandra. Cassandra. <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised my dad isn't on here. My dad. We need a few more cow jokes. jokes. He tells me all sorts of jokes, so I can remember them. We're going to share two more centers with you about cows. So the one is right behind us, and one of our favorite books to read when we are teaching about cows or learning about cows is Quick Quack Moo, Cows the Type. type. And of course, I'm going to scoot. How are we going to do this? I'm this is the thing. Thing. Nowadays, they Nobody don't know knows. what a typewriter I pull it out, they're like, is so, that a sewing machine? I'm like, it's not a sewing so machine. So we had our first part of the lesson was, what is a typewriter? typewriter. And we're like, back in the olden days. Before there were <laughs> When computers. we were in college. <laughs> before there were phones. Before there was really anything helpful. You had to write letters. You had to write, you had to type. Whoa. Yeah, you can see their little wheels spinning like, we don't the understand wheel? the words you're and saying. And you put the paper, <laughs> paper? <laughs> It's crazy. It's I usually easy. just text. All right, we're going to try to move. Watch. I'm going to probably knock the whole contraption down. We're going to try to move this. Whoa. Okay. Is this where you're going to tell the funny story? Okay, so I am going to tell the funny story. Sorry, here I am. Here we are. This is... Okay, hold on. We have like Woo. these crazy contraptions set up so that we can balance our iPad here. Oh, the sign on your side. Yes, hold on. Oh. We've had okay. this type right there. It was... Long, it was like my parents' typewriter when I was really, in high school. We, we, it's really old. We've but it works. Time. And the kids are fascinated by it. Yes, and so Jamie lovingly stores it on a prime real estate in the closet. I save it for this mm -hmm. one week a year. Right. <laughs> we so Jamie, are we really keeping that typewriter? She said, yes. Because when we do click, clack, move, how's it tight? Yeah. We it takes out like a whole right chunk of shelf in my closet. It takes massive space in the closet. <laughs> But I let her have it because she loves the typewriter. If you're local, you should come by my typewriter. We should have yeah. 50 people. Everybody yeah. takes it for a week. This thing is great. They love it. They like the sound of it, the way the keys work. It's yeah. great. You so, have to read this first. Yeah, so we read the story to them and just talk about what is a typewriter. And in the story, you know, Farmer Brown, um, the cows go on strike. So we talk about what it means when you go on strike and you stop doing your work. 
and then they write notes to each other using typewriter. They exchange notes. And so after we've read it, then we set this up in our writing center. So this is our little writing center area. And we just put the typewriter here with a copy of the book. And then this is the kicker. Remember those cow costumes we had when we did the nursery rhyme unit? We did the cow that jumped over the moon? We put them here. And so then the kids dress up like cows and type notes to That's each other. Right. She will never get rid of this typewriter. And the funny the thing perfect is, perfect activity. Yesterday when she was introducing this unit, so she's sitting there ready and I'm taking some pictures. And just as she put the cow costume on her head, one of our like students arrived with the dad. I'm like, hey, don't mind me. I'm just sitting here dressed like a like cow. A cow. <laughs> I didn't put the whole thing on. It's just too much notice. That's the sad thing. She's just reading a book, dressed like a cow. And the dad comes in and he's like, uh, oh, okay. sorry, we're late. Let <laughs> me carry on. We have some fun here. Anyway, they take turns, and that's how we decide because it's there's room for two people. So whoever's wearing the cow costumes gets to use the typewriter. And they have to type their name. Type so their name take first. Their, take their paper home. Yeah, and then after, after they're done typing it, we kind of. Did you see what I typed? So it got all jammed up, the typewriter thing, so I typed, Gemma should be a typewriter repair person in our next life. I'm pretty good at fixing stuff. Yeah. So then they just tear this bit off and they can take their, um, I, take their I did, I fixed note it earlier. I was like, it's the carriage, it won't. I was just checking over. to see if it was working so that I thought I'd type something funny, but you didn't notice it. I so didn't notice it. wasn't that funny. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Um, and the kids have loved that all week. This has been like click, clack, clickety, clack. Yeah. The whole week. Really bad. Um, all day. And then the last center that we want to show you is in our um, sensory, sensory table. table. Oh, I missed a cow joke. Oh, I'm gonna have to scroll back through. You guys are awesome. And we need some help with this. If you, this is the first time we've ever done this one, and we can't quite figure it out. So let me know if you've ever set this up for your students and what the trick is. Okay, I'm gonna flip it over so Gemma can try show show you what's going on here. It's in our second. Somebody ask if I can. Okay, so here in our um, sensory table. We have that same funnel stand that we've been using with the popcorn kernels all week. And, oh, that's a good one. You got, Cassandra's got like a whole. She has a book. Oh, you have a book of cow jokes? I don't know. All right. No one knows that many cow jokes, jokes off the top. <laughs> I'm impressed if you do. And so what we're trying to do here <laughs> is milk the cow. And we've filled up our gloves with water. But here's the thing. Um, people who've done this, as soon as we poke a teeny tiny little it hole, drips out. it just drips out. Is that how it happens? Unless, like the cow would be so sad and she's walking around with it. Oh, she milk. looked him up on the internet. Okay, thanks for telling. She okay. looked him up on the internet. So what do we do with this? So we're gonna poke it. We're gonna have one glove for each student, and then when they're ready to milk the cow, we'll poke the little hole, but all the water just, just comes just out. Fall out. So, but anyway, it should be fun for them anyway to practice milking the cow. We put a couple of photographs of farmers milking cows so and. Really fun. It does look really funny, <laughs> um, but we filled one glove for each kid for tomorrow. So, all right, here goes. What do you call a cow that is just decaffeinated? <laughs> all right, now here we are. I'm not sitting in a chair. <laughs> okay, well, I don't know what we're doing. Oh, we need a cameraman. Cameraman, we got a job for you. Okay, so you fill the gloves with water and paint, and the kids made paintings with them. Oh, Christina, that's a good idea. But doesn't it just drip right out? Yeah, I don't know. We need some help. Well, I've got to look that one up again. We've always said we were going to do it, and we never have. So if you've ever done that center with us, painting is a good idea, though. Mm. Instead of just squirting it in there, we could put papers in the bottom. Yeah, mm. I'm going to have to rethink filling our 10 gloves. Okay. Mm. Um, so, oh, hi in Dubai. Wow, yeah. that's so awesome. Um, anyway, so those are some of the cow senators that we can get I'm sorry, I got a little, little chair. Got a little chair. Um, those are some of the cow activities that we're doing this week. We also have some great cow books. Maybe one of these days, um, later in the week, we'll share some of our yeah, we favorite have great farm, books. farm books. Yeah. And next week, we're going to be doing um, chickens and eggs, talking about chickens and eggs. You pin a hole. I know it's messy, but I just worry that if they don't do it right away, that all the stuff is just going to drip out. Hmm. I wonder if there's a solution to that problem. I bet. Wow. Well, like if you use like a bottle nipple, then that won't drip out. Mm -hmm. But I don't know how we would do that. We don't know what we're doing. 
anyway, we're gonna give it a try, and I love the idea of painting with it instead of just squirting it out for no reason, like the paint to do some kind it's of. It's less a... likely they're gonna squirt each other. Mm, that's a good. I think I might. We might empty them out and then paint. Good idea. Good idea. Mm. Put something in them to make them thick. Hmm. Well, the paint I guess would be thick. You think if we added would be right, thick. or if we added a little bit of like cornstarch? Mm, we might have to go back to the drawing board all night tonight. I'm going to be like doing some kind of a thing with a glum full of cornstarch water. <laughs> and my husband is like, oh, what are you doing? And I'm like, I'm doing a little experiment. We're milking cows. And then he just goes, whatever. Okay. So that's it. Um, thank you for joining us. We hope you have fun playing and learning with your kids. See you next time. See you next time. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye.